Elon Musk just dropped a huge hint that batteries are about to explode into the next big breakthrough. And now, the 2026 Tesla Model 2 is finally here with the long-awaited aluminum ion battery. So is this the moment Tesla destroys the mass market as we know it? Could this new battery really be the end of lithium and change everything for electric cars? What makes this battery so special that Tesla is betting big on it? And why should every Tesla owner and anyone interested in EVs be paying close attention right now? So what's actually going on with this new aluminum ion battery that's just landed inside the 2026 Tesla Model 2? Why is it causing such a stir? And what makes it so different from all the other battery tech we've been promised over the years? Let's break it down. First off, aluminum ion batteries aren't exactly brand new tech. Scientists and engineers have been experimenting with them for a while, but nobody's figured out how to make them work well in real-world EVs. Until now. And guess who's finally cracked the code? Yep, Elon Musk and the team at Tesla. Here's the big reveal. Aluminum ion batteries can charge way faster than lithium ion. We're talking six times quicker in some tests. Imagine plugging in your car, grabbing a coffee, and by the time you're back, it's nearly fully charged. That's a serious shift in how people will use EVs day to day. No more planning your life around charging stations. And it's not just speed. These batteries are lighter, safer, and less prone to overheating. That means fewer risks of fires, longer battery life, and overall a more efficient ride. Oh, and here's a fun twist. Aluminum is way more common and cheaper than lithium. So if Tesla scales this tech properly, the cost of EVs could drop fast. And that's where the Model 2 fits in perfectly. Now, what really matters here isn't just the new battery. It's where it's showing up first. The Model 2 is supposed to be Tesla's most affordable car yet. That means Tesla isn't just saving this for some luxury upgrade. They're dropping it straight into a mass market vehicle. Why? Because this isn't about bragging rights. It's about market domination. Think about it. Faster charging, longer range, safer tech, and lower costs. All in a car that's meant to compete at the lower end of the EV market? That's not just clever, it's ruthless. And while other car makers are still trying to squeeze more out of lithium, Tesla's already one step ahead, building the future out of aluminum. But hang on, before you get too excited, there's one huge question that Tesla drivers everywhere are asking. If you've already got a Tesla with lithium, does this mean your car is suddenly outdated? Or is there a way you can actually upgrade to this new battery without trading in your vehicle? That's exactly what we're diving into next. And trust me, you'll want to hear what's really happening behind the scenes. Here's the part that's got current Tesla owners either excited or completely stressed out. Does this new aluminum ion battery mean your existing Tesla is already out of date? It's a fair question. For years, there's been this quiet fear in the Tesla community. What if the second you buy one, a better battery shows up and your car becomes yesterday's tech? And until now, that fear had some weight to it. Tesla's lithium-ion packs were glued in, tightly integrated with cooling systems, and coded for one specific battery chemistry. Swapping them out wasn't just tricky, it was basically impossible. But here's where things take a surprising turn. Musk has hinted that Tesla's engineers have been working behind the scenes on something people aren't really talking about yet. A smarter battery architecture. One that isn't just faster or cheaper, but modular. And that changes the entire game. What does that mean for you? Imagine a system where, down the line, instead of replacing your entire car, you could just upgrade the battery module itself. No need to ditch the vehicle you've already poured money and miles into. It's not official yet, but inside sources say Tesla's already testing flexible battery management systems that can adapt to new chemistries like aluminum ion. If that's true, it's not just good news, it's massive. And it makes sense. If the Model 2 is launching with this new battery tech, Tesla knows there's going to be demand for some kind of upgrade path. No one wants to feel left behind. It's not just about hardware anymore, it's about software, smart architecture, and future-proofing. Other EV makers, they're still locking drivers into one battery system. But Musk is playing a different game, keeping customers loyal not just with features, but with the promise that your Tesla can evolve as fast as the tech does. So if you already own a Model 3, Y, S, or X, don't panic just yet. The future might not mean ditching your car, it could mean unlocking more from what you already own. But wait, 
there's still one major issue hanging over all this. What happens when millions of aluminum ion Teslas hit the road at once? Can the energy grid even handle it? Let's pull back the curtain for a second, because while the headlines scream about the Model 2 and its aluminum ion battery, what's really going on inside Tesla's labs is way more interesting. Musk didn't just wake up and decide to drop a new battery into a cheaper car. This shift has been brewing quietly for years, deep inside Tesla's engineering hubs in Nevada and Texas. And the craziest part? Hardly anyone's talking about what's really happening behind the scenes. While the world focused on range numbers and autopilot updates, Tesla's battery division has been rewriting the playbook on energy storage. Not just to squeeze out more mileage, but to rethink how cars are even built. It's not just about aluminum ion replacing lithium. It's about how that swap even became possible. Insiders say teams have been building modular prototypes, battery packs that don't just fit in the Model 2, but were designed from day one to work across future platforms. That kind of planning doesn't happen overnight. It's part of a wider, silent revolution. Designing EVs like smartphones, upgradable, software-tuned, and built to evolve. And guess what? Tesla's been testing these systems in total secrecy. Experimental thermal management systems, adaptive power delivery, flexible architecture that doesn't lock you into one battery forever. It's not just innovation, it's insulation from obsolescence. Even the Model 2's chassis plays into this. It's slimmer, lighter, and rumored to have a completely reworked battery integration system underneath. You won't see that on a spec sheet, but it's the reason this aluminum ion pack works now and why it could scale fast without tearing down the factory. Musk has always said Tesla isn't just a car company, and right now, it's showing. This isn't just a new battery, it's a new philosophy. Make tech that improves over time, not expires. But here's the real cliffhanger. Even if Tesla nails the hardware, can the outside world, our roads, our power grid, keep up with what's coming? All right. Let's talk about something that might just flip the entire EV game on its head, charging time. Because Tesla isn't just giving us a new battery in the Model 2. They're slashing wait times like never before. We're talking up to six times faster. That's not just an upgrade. That's a reset button on everything we thought we knew about EV ownership. Now, Elon Musk teased it subtly in a recent shareholder update, but here's the real deal. The aluminum ion battery in the 2026 Model 2 doesn't just hold energy differently, it accepts energy like nothing before it. No more sitting at a charger for 40 minutes just to hit 80%. We're talking about getting hundreds of miles back in under 10 minutes. That's literally coffee break fast. But here's the thing. This isn't just about convenience. It's about confidence. Fast charging kills two of the biggest worries stopping people from buying EVs. Range anxiety and wasted time. Imagine pulling into a supercharger, plugging in, checking one message, and boom, your car's basically ready to go. This speed comes from the chemistry itself. Aluminum ion cells can move ions faster and cooler than lithium, which means they don't overheat as easily. And the charging systems don't need to slow down halfway through. It's like unlocking full-speed charging all the way through the session. Industry insiders are already watching closely. Rumor is Ford and Hyundai are scrambling to respond because once this rolls out at scale, any EV without it suddenly looks outdated. And let's not forget energy companies. With faster charging, the entire flow of electricity demand changes. Grid tech, smart charging, even billing systems, they'll all need to evolve. Now picture this. You're late, your Model 2 battery is nearly dead, and instead of panicking, you pull in, plug it in, and walk out in the time it takes to grab a snack. That's not a future fantasy anymore. It's 2026, and Tesla's already got it in the works. But this raises a massive question. If charging becomes this fast and easy, what happens to the gas station industry? Are we watching the slow death of petrol in real time? Here's where it all gets real, the price. Elon Musk didn't just want to build the fastest charging, most efficient EV on the road, he wanted to make it affordable enough to flip the entire market. And with the 2026 Model 2 finally set to launch, powered by Tesla's long-awaited aluminum ion battery, that price might be the biggest shock yet. Reports are pointing to a base price under $25,000. That's not just cheaper than a Model 3. It's cheaper than some gas cars. And not stripped down either. 
We're talking a fully electric Tesla with top-tier range, modern design, and battery tech that most competitors don't even have on paper yet. So how did they pull this off? It comes down to materials and manufacturing. Aluminum is far more abundant and less expensive than lithium or cobalt. It also simplifies the supply chain, cutting out rare earth dependence and reducing costs across the board. Combine that with Tesla's gigafactory scaling, new casting technology, and Musk's obsession with vertical integration. Suddenly, that $25,000 price tag doesn't sound so crazy. But here's the thing. This isn't just a win for Tesla fans. It's a shot across the bow for every car maker on the planet. Think about it. If Tesla can sell a smart, fast-charging EV at this price, how does a $35,000 Ford or Toyota hybrid even compete? This move could undercut the entire compact car segment, and it's not a concept anymore. It's production ready. Even Wall Street's paying attention. Investors are buzzing about how this pricing shift could push EV adoption into overdrive, especially in markets like India, Southeast Asia, and South America, places where affordability isn't just important, it's everything. And here's the deeper impact. This might be the first EV that truly ends the debate. No more EVs are too expensive, or it'll take years for prices to come down. Musk just handed the market an ultimatum, and once the Model 2 hits roads, buyers may never look back. But while the price tag might be the big reveal, there's still one more thing hiding beneath the surface. It's not just the cars that are changing, it's Tesla's strategy itself. And what they're building next might just rewrite the rules for every automaker. Let's go there. Everyone's hyped about the 2026 Tesla Model 2 and its insane aluminum ion battery tech. But here's a question most people aren't asking. Can the US power grid actually handle millions of these things charging at once? Elon Musk thinks it can, but only if it gets a whole lot smarter. See, we're not just talking about faster charging or longer range anymore. With the aluminum ion batteries charging six times faster than lithium ion, we're entering a completely new territory. What used to take 30 minutes at a supercharger might now take five, but multiply that across neighborhoods, cities, countries. And now the real challenge begins. The American grid wasn't built for this kind of load. Blackouts in Texas, transformer failures in California, aging infrastructure coast to coast, and here comes Musk, ready to throw millions of fast charging EVs into the mix. So what's the plan? It's called autonomous smart load balancing. Basically, Tesla's building a system where your car doesn't just charge whenever it wants. Instead, it syncs with the grid, charging during off-peak hours, avoiding strain, and even pushing power back to the system when needed. Think of it like a network of rolling batteries, always listening, always adapting. And this isn't just theory. Tesla's already testing virtual power plants, VPPS, in places like California and Australia. They're using power walls, solar panels, and EVs to create decentralized energy hubs that balance demand in real time. Musk isn't just building cars, he's quietly plugging Tesla into the energy backbone of the future. Meanwhile, legacy automakers are still chasing battery chemistry and range figures. But Tesla, it's thinking 10 steps ahead, turning every home into a mini power station, every car into a smart node in a global grid. So yes, the grid as it stands today, it's not ready. But Tesla's not just asking permission, it's rewiring the whole game. And that's what no one's talking about. But here's the kicker. If the grid gets smart enough, it's not just about EVs anymore. Musk's next move could be way bigger than cars. Are you ready for what comes after? Let's be real. The 2026 Tesla Model 2 just set the entire EV world on fire. The aluminum ion battery tech is blowing minds. Elon Musk promised a revolution, and honestly, this feels like it. Faster charging, longer range, lower costs. It's everything current EV owners wish they had. Which brings us to the elephant in the room. Why isn't Tesla retrofitting older vehicles with the new aluminum ion tech? I mean, wouldn't it make sense to give loyal owners the same upgrade? You bought a Model 3, a Model Y. Shouldn't you be first in line for this breakthrough? But here's the thing. Musk understands, retrofitting isn't always progress. It's a logistical nightmare. It's not just about popping in a new battery. We're talking about a complete overhaul. 
cooling systems, software architecture, weight distribution, safety testing, charging infrastructure compatibility, the list goes on. And then there's cost. Retrofitting an older Tesla with the aluminum ion system would likely cost more than just buying the new Model 2. Tesla's focus isn't about looking backward, it's about moving forward fast. Plus, there's the pace of innovation. Musk knows that retrofitting slows things down. Instead of dragging the past into the future, Tesla wants to accelerate toward what's next. And when you're trying to disrupt every major automaker on Earth, time is your most valuable asset. Competitors? Some are promising upgrades, battery swaps, or modular systems, but they don't have the same vertically integrated machine Tesla has. Retrofitting for them is a way to buy time. For Tesla, it's a distraction. Now, that might sting if you own a 2020 Model Y and just watched a $25,000 Model 2 debut with better specs. But it also raises a new question. What does loyalty look like in an EV world where progress moves this fast? And here's the wild part. Tesla could offer incentives, trade-in upgrades, or even a buyback model that makes older Teslas part of the ecosystem for things like energy storage or grid balancing. That would be a Musk move. Not retrofitting the car, but recycling its potential. So if you're wondering why retrofits aren't happening, maybe the better question is, what if they were never the plan at all? Because there's one final piece Tesla hasn't revealed yet, and it might make retrofitting look like a footnote in EV history. Elon Musk didn't just launch a new battery. With the 2026 Tesla Model 2 and its aluminum ion core, he opened a new chapter in energy tech. It's fast, efficient, affordable, and now it's real. But if you think this is the end of the road, you're not paying attention. Because for Musk, the Model 2 isn't the finish line. It's the starting pistol. Here's where things get wild. The aluminum ion platform isn't just about smaller cars. It's scalable. That means you're looking at the future base layer for an entire Tesla ecosystem, from semis to grid storage to maybe even aircraft. Yes, aircraft. Tesla's aluminum ion battery is pushing energy density to levels that start making electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles EVTOLs, not just possible but practical. And if you know Musk, you know the guy's been eyeing the sky for a while. But it's not just about what's being powered, it's how. Tesla's been quietly filing patents and hiring AI engineers, not just battery chemists. The real play? Self-learning energy systems. Imagine a battery pack that optimizes itself daily, tweaking performance based on your driving style, climate, charging habits, even the grid. This is where things go beyond cars and into infrastructure. With Tesla energy expanding, the Aluminum Ion Foundation could fuel everything from neighborhood-level power walls to commercial fleet depots that charge in minutes and operate 24-7. And what about software? Expect a full rewrite of the Tesla OS optimized for energy efficiency, predictive maintenance, and AI-powered battery diagnostics, all built around the new chemistry. The battery isn't just a power source anymore. It's the brainstem of a smarter system. Now here's what competitors aren't talking about yet. Tesla isn't waiting for them to catch up. There are whispers of a Model Zero, an ultra, ultra affordable urban EV priced even below the Model 2, built around aluminum ion, manufactured almost entirely by AI. Think smartphone production meets EV assembly. So while everyone's raving about the 2026 Model 2 launch, Musk is already deep into 2028. And there's one quiet move happening behind the scenes that could blow this wide open. But that's something we're diving into next. Because if you thought this battery was the breakthrough, you haven't seen what it's about to unlock. The 2026 Tesla Model 2, armed with the aluminum ion battery, isn't just Tesla's cheapest car. It might be the most disruptive thing they've ever built. Lighter, faster, more affordable. And suddenly, Electric cars aren't luxury tech anymore. They're mass market weapons. But here's the real question. Is the world ready for this kind of shift? Because this isn't just about a new battery chemistry. It's about a new kind of ownership, where EVs charge in minutes, cost less than gasoline cars, and no longer rely on rare, expensive materials. It's a challenge to every automaker still clinging to the old lithium-ion blueprint. 
and it's putting serious pressure on governments, utility companies, and legacy players to catch up fast or get steamrolled.